back to Cedars election night coverage. Uh, we want to bring you up to speed on some of the updates from here in Ohio. Uh, Jordan has a few updates that he uh, he has for us. Jordan, what's uh, what are we what are we seeing here in Ohio? Yeah, some interesting updates. You're going to find that uh, CNN has announced Sherrod Brown wins the Senate seat in Ohio. Big victory against Josh Mandel for the Democrats. Uh, you're going to look on the presidential level, though, it's really starting to even out. What was initially looking like a potential Obama victory is now turning into a tie. But there's still a lot of areas that are yet to be counted in Ohio, specifically Hamilton County, Montgomery County, Madison County, and Fun fact, Cedarville, Greene County has only, they've only counted about 10% of the votes so far. So your votes could be a deciding factor in this election. If this, if this state goes to uh, President Obama, like it just went to Sherrod Brown, this could mean certain victory for the president and the end of the Romney campaign as we know it. As Jordan just said, this campaign election seems to be getting closer and closer as uh, time keeps ticking. And Ohio, it really seems like it is going to be coming down to that. Uh, so Cedarville, I hope you guys voted because uh, your votes really didn't count in this election. As there are only 10% right now in Greene County, that's going to be a big deciding factor and it could decide whether or not uh, the Ohio votes, or their electoral votes go for Obama or for Mitt Romney. Not only that, but some of the other states that are also considered battleground states uh, are really still really close call. The first one that was determined was New Hampshire, which went for Barack Obama. So I wonder if we're going to see a swing there, if that's going, that is going to continue and that momentum for Obama will continue, or if there's the potential for the other states to uh, have a deciding factor. Not only that, but North Carolina was not determined as a battleground state, but yet it's still really close. It's coming down to about 20,000 votes right now, if that. So that's something that we're going to continue to be looking at, uh, and that's definitely going to determine who can take the win tonight. John, do you want to give us some uh, some of the updates on what we're seeing in the uh, Yeah, real Senate quick. So let me give you a quick Senate update as far as um, some of the races across the nation. Um, a couple races that that we want to update you with our Senate Missouri Senate seat, Todd Aiken, um, has been defeated by a Democrat. This seat was originally rejected to go to Aiken. Uh, and then also in Indiana, you have a Senate seat, uh, Richard Murdoch and Joe Donnelly. While again, Richard Murdoch, the Tea Party candidate, was expected to win this race. A lot of Tea Party losses. Joe Donnelly um, upsets Richard Murdoch in Indiana. You also have an incumbent, Scott Brown in Massachusetts, who is defeated by Claire McCaskill. Three Senate races right now um, that are um, worth mentioning. Yeah, I think people are starting to realize that the Tea Party can't hold on much longer. And they're losing a lot of Senate seats, as you said, John. Uh, it's going to be in the Republican Party. Even if they say they do win the presidency, they're still going to have to reevaluate their strategy if these losses to the Tea Party continues. That really has become the base. Well, it's also important, I think, to note that uh, both Tea Party candidates were actually retaining a pretty good lead until um, some mm -hmm. rather controversial statements were made and um, revolving around the issue of abortion. And I think that um, since those comments were made, uh, voters have definitely tended to switch their minds on who the best candidate would be for those races. So, um, like you said, Jordan, uh, we are seeing some. Uh, interesting results as it relates to the Tea Party candidates. I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that there are a lot more women voters uh, mm -hmm. that vote rather than men. And I think that those particular candidates took that for an advantage um, and they thought of it too lightly. Uh, and I think that they underestimated the power of the woman vote. So. All right, thanks panelists for those updates. Um, we'll keep you updated here as we move into the later stages of the evening. Um, stick with us. Thanks.